Hi, welcome back. We have to do the regular exit to 8-Bit Lake. Which was, uh, it was alright. Unless I'm picking the wrong level, which would really suck. Because I found a secret in one of them, and then we have to go back and and do one of them. So today, I pretty much want to talk to you about uh, some copyright stuff. Which, if you haven't seen the the main video, the the FaceTime video, whatever you want to call it. It's the one that's auto-playing currently, but chances are if you're coming much later than you know, the first couple days to a week of this video being uploaded, it's no longer that anyway. And people will be like, oh, what are you talking about? It's not there. Well, obviously, if you're watching this three months later, there's a good chance it's going to be something else. At any rate, copyright from uh, Eidos. Eidos? I think it's Eidos. I actually looked up the, the Wikipedia entry for them, and the pronunciation key says Eidos. So I'm going to go with Eidos. Um, they apparently, or someone, planted a copyright... Uh, claim against the first and only the first video in that series and this piece which is probably useless besides this door which was the secret um, this is kind of reminiscent of Fallout New Vegas in which a copyright strike was placed on that as well but only the first video in the series and nothing else ever came of it which was odd um, no one ever really figured out what the problem was a lot of people were saying that it was uh, Oh, I knew that was coming. A lot of people were saying that it was just, I don't know, some sort of automatic system. And it was a mistake because uh, Bethesda or whoever said that they didn't do anything and whatever. So, um, it was very reminiscent of that because it was only the first video, which was a real bummer. And that's, thank you. That was kind of a big bummer at the time, but I disputed it and it eventually got moved and I really hate flying fish segments. They're incredibly annoying. hate them. I hate that too. It's like double whammy. You got ones coming from angles and ones coming from right below you, so it's just... It's great. Um, I assume I'll just continue the series on. I've already disputed the copyright. Okay, sure. I've already disputed it. Um, through the DMCA, whatever, counterclaim measures, which most people probably won't even know what the fuck that is. It's just something you have to go through to try and get a video back, blah, blah, blah. I've talked to Machinima about it, and I've tried contacting IDOS themselves, the company itself, through Twitter and through an email that I found, and I'm hoping to get a response, though I'm not sure if I will. So anyway, um, do I have to assume that is... Ah, oh, there's a door. Almost missed that door. Totally missed it. I wanted to keep going right. Apparently that's not that's not it. And that thwomp looks really angry again. Thought I'd just share with you some of the tips that I've gotten from people. Anytime something like this happens, the the people who want to help... I can't believe I actually still got that. People want to help, but sometimes it's not always the best advice. And, I mean, I... Whoa. What the hell was with this water? I, like just plummeted at one point. That was weird. Um, we'll go ahead and just talk about it. I know people want to help and that's good, but really there's pretty much like only one way to really try and help and that's to try and get a hold of the company and ask them what the hell's going on, which some people have, and even that in itself is a confusion. is confusing because people have said that they contacted them and some people said that they responded that they were removing all first parts because it contains spoilers and some people said that they responded back and said they had no idea what they were talking about because they hadn't submitted any strike and I hope okay good stuff like that so it's kinda like well who's correct is it the people who are saying I mean it's it's very plausible that they did respond and get one back from the company and they said like they didn't want any spoilers in that first video which I'm more likely to believe that uh, other than they don't, I mean, it's, it's conflicting information, I suppose, really. Please don't die, alright. So, pretty much the one of the only ways I would say would be helpful is to contact them and figure out what the fuck is going on. And until then, I have no idea. I'm going to wait. I'm just going to wait. Until then, I have no idea. Like I said, I think just going to, yep, keep swimming, sure. Some people have said that they responded and said that uh, they had no idea what they were talking about. And some people have said that they were taking down all first parts because of spoilers. And I will say right now that I have no problem taking down that first part, or even not doing a game in its entirety, or at all, if a company... Oh, fuck me. Yep, the bomb one. Great. Come on, come back down here. 
I'm not sure that didn't hit it. I don't have any problem with that. Like, if, if a company is like, we don't want you to do shit on our game, then sure, fine. That's the company that made it. If you don't want me to do anything on your game, I won't do it. But it would be nice to, like, just know that beforehand. Like, I know it's a company and all, and they probably have better things to do than try and contact me and have me remove a video or not do a game in its entirety, but, I mean, if... If they're gonna place a copyright strike on me anyway, they have to find that video, and then they have to fill out a form that puts the copyright strike on me. So if they're gonna... Ugh, fucking that bomb. We go here. That didn't help very much. It almost did. God damn it. I, this is why I hate this fucking boss. There we go. I mean, they have to fill out stuff anyway, so it, it would just be nice if they did, but I know it's a company... They don't always have the, the time and the know-how, or not the know-how, just the means. I mean, it's much easier to probably blanket a copyright strike on someone as opposed to, you know... I really hate this boss. As opposed to trying to reach out to them and just have them remove the video. I would have no problem removing the video, you know, all of that stuff. Please hit thank you. Lucky with that. Would have no problem getting rid of all the shit if that's what they really wanted. Uh, why am I going back in? Reset pipe? I don't know. The hell is up with this? Okay, there we go. Um, it'd be... I mean, I wouldn't mind it. I'm sure some people would get upset that I wasn't doing it and that I was giving in to the man, but... If that's what the company wants, then sure, I'll respect that. But unfortunately, it's copyright strike first and... Get questions, you know, answer questions later. Uh, it might not even be the actual company. You never know. It could be someone completely else, just... I don't know, we've had this problem before, where there were false copyright claims and all that, but I'm kind of inclined to believe that it may be the actual company. How the hell am I... Let's put that down. Let's put it down. There we go. I'm just trying to get over it with that. That's not death, so that's good. So, if you are interested, I'm not sure if that is the door right there, like, that I have to get through, this little thing, or if I'm supposed to... I'm probably just supposed to go up here... Grab this, fuck the cloud, and not not literally fuck the cloud, but, you know. So now I have a springboard, which I don't need to get up here. I don't, nope. No, I do not. Just need to do that. So I'll share with you some of the advice that I've been getting. Yoshi, don't you dare let him get away for any further, Wendy. Whoops. I'll share with you some of the advice I've been getting and pretty much try to, like, debunk some of the the myths of it. Which is, wow, cool. Let's get rid of you guys real quick. The first one is that I should ask Machinima for help because they'll remove the strike. Which may be true, however, unfortunately, I don't think people realize that Machinima cannot get rid of that with just a snap of their fingers. It's not an incredibly quick process. It's not like I'd go tell them and then and within the day it would be gone. Best case scenario, that might happen. Chances are, it's not. And that's to assume that I'm already not telling them or asking them for help in the first place, which is kind of a poor assumption because they are the first people that I usually talk to about it. So that's the first one. Oh, hey, it's Yoshi. Give back Peach or die. Eat hot lava, you plumber, as we're over water. 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 Uh, okay. Sure. Why not? Up, oh, up. Oh. Epic, epic scene here, I'm sure. Why is there a P-switch up there? Okay, Yoshi's trying to hit the P-switch now. Yep, and apparently we fall. My, we, yeah, we can just jump out of this. I was about to say, oh, what the hell? Why is there like a Power Rangers theme song? <laughs> Sounds like the Power Rangers theme song. Whatever. I guess we're done with this level? Okay, sure. Go to the, go to the tube. And we got some more stuff to do. Chinese gooseberry. Sure. Why not? Why? Hey, look. Hi, my name is Kiwi. You saved me in Grassy World. Please help me out of this cave. I'll help you out later if you do. Sure. Reset. Why not? Um, what else have I been getting? Um, the other ones that have I've been getting would be... Please get that. I don't know what the point of this is. Um, that... How the hell am I supposed to get into there? What the hell? Unless unless Yoshi can eat. Oh right, gotcha. All right, never mind. Just go back. There we go. 
Uh, one is that you should wait until the game is out everywhere before doing it, which doesn't make a whole lot of sense. Um, sometimes games come out weeks or even months later in certain countries than others, and that would be waiting quite a long time to do that. Not only that, but copyright should pretty much only apply to me based on the laws of the United States, and let's see, because I'm in the United States, that's where the laws would apply to me at. Um, it would be hard for, you know, a company who's English-based that has a game, let's say, let's say a game comes out in England, uh, a week from now, which I think Deus Ex doesn't come out until, uh, next week in some areas. I'm not sure if it's England. Wow, didn't even realize that. I'm not sure if it's England, but it comes out later in some places. Unfortunately, you cannot, uh, oh, fuck. Unfortunately, you can't really, or fortunately, I should say, you can't really...